it's hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small it makes you doubt. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. The flashlight. Where is that thing? Hi, Tom Thomas. What are you looking for? The flashlight. Ah, here it is. Why do you need it? Katya, I want to talk with her. Why not use the phone? This thing's a flashlight. It's not a telephone. No, you don't understand. Me and Katya came up with a secret code. If I flash just once, then it means, hello there. Oh, and Katya's also said hello there to you. And two flashes? What's that? Katya's asking if everything's all right. Now I'll tell her that everything's good. Oh, what's wrong with this? I think it's not working right. I see, Nolik. But what's wrong? Any flashlight is nothing more than a battery and a light bulb connected by some wires that are used to make a switch in between them. To turn on a flashlight, you flip on a switch. That lets the electricity flow through the wires from the battery to the bulb so it lights up. And if it won't light up, that means that the battery is dead, the light bulb is burned out, or the switch is broken. And now let's put all this theory into practice. I'm sorry, but I don't have time right now. Don't you get it? If I don't signal back, she'll think that I don't want to talk to her, and that would just be terrible. Just don't get all worked up. We'll help you. But first, we need to get the Mac up, uh, uh, um, the pack -a -mac, and come right back. See ya. Did you hear that? Masya, what a weird sound. Uh-huh. That's new. <laughs> now we know what the noise was. <sighs> Papus, can we use a pack -a -mac to fix a flashlight? Really, did you say a flashlight? <laughs> Do you know the story about when Granddad had to travel for miles on top of a dog? It's true! He was sent on a very important mission. A huge flashlight repair. What kind was it? A special kind called a lighthouse. A lighthouse is a tall structure with a huge flashlight on top of it that is used to help ships and planes find their way. People have been using lighthouses since ancient times. The most famous of them all is the Lighthouse of Alexandria. It was built in Egypt more than 2,000 years ago, and it was more than 100 meters tall. The ancient Greeks considered this lighthouse one of the seven wonders of the world. In ancient times, people would burn big fires on top of lighthouses. Today, the light comes from powerful electric bulbs. Many of today's lighthouses not only give off light, but they send radio signals, too. Yes, thanks to lighthouses, ships and planes for miles around learn where they need to sail or where they've got to fly in order to stay safe. And thanks to that heroic deed of your grandfather, that big old lighthouse started working. Since then, not a single ship has ever gone astray. Simka! And what if we don't just fix the flashlight, but we do something heroic? Like Grandpus did. Uh-huh. All right, what do you say? Let's jump on the back of this dog and get moving. Stop ducking. What? Grab hold of my hand. Uh-oh. Uh Chusaka, no! Get out, right now! <sighs> Tish! <laughs> that was 
is really some heroic deed. Now it's time to go get that lighthouse fixed. Tom Thomas, hand the lighthouse over. What kind of lighthouse? The one that's your flashlight. Uh, I have no use for it. What do you mean, no use for it? But then how are you gonna tell Katya what she needs to know? I already told her. Watch this. No, that wasn't the deal. Yeah, you want to tell us our heroic deed was in vain? Well, if you need some heroic deed, then sure, fix it. Hooray! They take care of our machines, irons, phones, and toasters. The prosthesis. Simka, over here. Take a look at what I found. Hey, it's a bear. Ooh. What bear did you find, Nolik? You know, it's the one Tom Thomas told us about. He was his best friend in the whole wide world. Until he became friends with you and me. What? Uh, oh. Uh-huh. Let's try to wind him up. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Now look, Teddy. Go on, Teddy. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Oh, no. Poor little teddy bear. They ripped his leg and didn't care. We didn't rip his leg. It was already broken. It's all clear. A compound fracture. Then why don't we fix him? Tom Thomas will be so happy. Wait. It's not going to be that easy to repair it. We'll need a prosthesis. The human body is built around a frame of bones and joints. And if you break one of the bones, it'll usually heal by itself. The broken bone will grow back together, and you'll be back to normal. But sometimes bones or joints can break so badly that it's impossible for them to heal. When this happens, they have to be replaced with an artificial part called a prosthesis. A prosthesis can replace more than a bone or a joint. It can be made to replace a whole arm or a leg. And where are we going to get a prosthesis? I'm positive we can get it from Professor Eugenius. You're right. Help is on the way. Hello, Professor Eugenius. Ah, I'm pleased to see you, dear children. How do you do? Hi there. Professor Eugenius, can you make a prosthesis? What, have you broken something? Uh, no, not us. It was the bear. He broke his leg. What bear? The teddy bear that used to be Tom Thomas's friend. Ah, now I see. Today, with the help of modern prosthetics, more is being replaced than just arms and legs. For example, if you lose a tooth, it can be replaced with an artificial one. That's also a prosthesis. And there are times when a person starts losing their vision because the lens in their eye gets foggy and can't focus. For this, there's another kind of prosthesis, a new clear artificial lens. A prosthesis can also be used to help people with poor hearing. A tiny device can be put inside of somebody's ear so they can hear what's going on. And that's not all. People have also learned how to treat a sick heart by replacing its worn-out parts with prostheses. What fantastic inventions these prostheses are. It's amazing what they can do. They help people live a full life. Professor, is it working out? We'll know soon enough. Here you go. Thanks so much for your help, Professor Eugenius. Not at all. Take care, kids. In gadgets and devices, our work will never end. Appliances are fickle. They need a loyal friend. At morning, noon, and midnight of every single day, when there is an emergency, you know we're on our way. One, two, three. Inside will be. All day and night, 
fix things right. Well, now this old friend of Tom Thomas's will be just like new, Nolik. Simka, if Tom Thomas makes friends with the bear, then what? Will he stop being friends with us? Hi, everybody. Hi there. Oh, my teddy bear. You found him for me. And you fixed him. Ah, oh, thanks a lot. It's just like Grandpa said. A friend that's old is better than two that are new. Who's new and who's old? Well, the bear is old. And pff, we're new. No, look, it's not true. You're the Fixies, guys. You're my very, very best friends in the whole wide world. Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. They're tiny, infinitesimal, so small it makes you doubt. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The short circuit. Are you sure we're allowed to play in your dad's office? We're not gonna play in here. We came here on a tour. I think this place is like a real museum. Just take a look at that. I have no idea what it is. And this thing is a complete mystery. <laughs> Keep it down, this is a museum, you know? <laughs> what a great museum guide you are. You know absolutely nothing. How can you say you don't know? I know. I'd like to run a test here, on the capacitor. On this one? Don't, Don't touch. touch! Why can't I? It's not a museum. Because it's dangerous. If you touch it, the shock could be deadly. But you two are touching it all the time. I've seen it. The only time is when the device is turned off. And right now, the device is running. For many centuries, the Fixies only had to work on mechanical devices. But after the discovery of electricity, the Fixies had to master electrical devices as well. At first, Fixies were getting terrible shocks, and they really, really hurt. Over time, the Fixies figured out that you can't fix appliances when they're turned on, and bare wires should never, ever be touched. And Fixies also learned that electricity can travel not just through wires, but through plain old water. So that's why if a broken wire ever ends up in a puddle of water, you must never get close to it, or you could get a terrible shock. Fixies learn all these important rules, and they hope humans understand that they need to learn them as well. Look, now here's one I know about. It's an old radio my dad got for my grandpa. More than 60 years old, can you believe it? <gasps> Your grandpa? <laughs> the old radio. That was a joke. Is it still working? I don't know. Let's check. Electricity got turned off. Maybe it was a short circuit. I'll go find out. <sighs> oh, so it was you who caused the short circuit. I was in here showing all these things to Nolik, and we wanted to turn on on the radio. We flipped the switch on, and then suddenly, kaboom, the lights go off. They're off <sighs> everywhere in the apartment. So then how can I even warm up my pizza now? Soon it will warm up all by itself, now that the refrigerator isn't working. Simka, uh, what is that thing you said? A short circuit. <laughs> Electricity goes back and forth from an appliance with two separate wires. For example, an iron uses the electricity it needs to get hot. But if those two wires start touching each other without the iron in the middle, then the wires will get hot instead. And this can cause the wires to burn out. 
When this happens, it's called a short circuit. Short circuits can happen when the coating around a wire is worn out or when an appliance is broken on the inside of it. So when you tried turning on that old broken radio, the wires in the apartment started burning. Does that mean all the wires got destroyed? Don't worry. In our apartment, there's an automatic switch to stop that. It turns off the electricity when the wires start getting too hot. Oof. And what about that, uh, uh, automatic switch? Is that something you need your mom and dad to turn on? No question. You definitely would. But you have us. Yeah! And we have Papus and Masia. I'll go tell them what happened here. And you guys, you turn off the radio. But we'll get electrocuted. What do you mean, electrocuted? Thanks to you, there's no electricity. Are you ready? Pull it up! Hooray! Tadish! So, Tom Thomas, what are we doing next? Hmm, why don't we continue with our tour? Hey, wait for me! I'm coming! Hey, wait! I thought you were fixing the television with Papus and Masia. They asked me to come here and stay with you on your awesome museum tour. That way, there'll be less for them to fix in here later. Fixies go to fixie schools and study to be masters. There's so much they need to learn to save us from disasters. There is Secret out. GPS. And three, four. Stop. Who goes next? I'm next. Five. One, two, three, three. And. Wait, I gotta choose a route. Should I go here or there? Choose already. Nolik, what are you doing over there? Nothing at all. Just waiting at my place. Good. And don't get off it. Well, Fire? What was that? The alarm on my fixie tab. Oh, our lesson's about to start. Hurry! What about the game? Later! As soon as young Fixies enter their first year of Fixie school, everyone gets their own Fixie tab. It's a little computer that can do anything at all. Well, almost anything at all. Studying with a Fixie tab is fantastic. You can read it just like a book and write in it just like writing in a notebook. You can use a Fixie tab to listen to music, watch movies, find your way around, and talk, text, and send letters to your friends. And if you want, you can use a Fixie tab to go on to the internet that humans use, or you can visit the secret Fixie internet, where you can find news about the world of the Fixies. And Fixie tabs have games on them, too. Of course, these games can be a lot of fun, but you shouldn't play games until your homework is all done. Faster, or we'll be late. I know a shortcut we can use. This way. Now which way do we go? I need to remember the route. I think it's this way. Or it could be that way. Well, which is it? This or that? Uh, I have no clue. Uh-huh. So what's our plan? We'll go back and start again. We flew in from there, right? No, I think it was there. That's not how we flew in. It was there. Ah, uh, I think we're lost in here. Uh-oh. No, like, stop the panicking. I only went, uh-oh, I'm not panicking yet. It's your fault, Fire. I know a shortcut. Go this way. How are we gonna get out of here? How do I know? All I know is that we're late for our lesson. 
thanks to someone. It wasn't on purpose, I swear. Now Grandpa's will punish us. <gasps> What's going on? Well, I think I found a way to get out. Which way? Right here. I forgot that inside of my fixie tab is a GPS navigator. Class, uh, what's a navigator? A GPS navigator is an interactive electronic map that can help you find your way around. The navigator can figure out where you are by using signals that are sent to it from satellites. All you have to do is type the address of the place you want to go into it, and the GPS can figure out a route to get you there. And then it helps you as you go by telling you where and when you need to turn, so you can easily get to your destination. Let's see. Right now, we're here. And where do we need to go? <laughs> you know where to school. But where is that? Are you joking? In the laboratory of Professor Eugenius. Can you be quiet? Where do you want to go? The laboratory of Professor Eugenius. Please wait while I chart out the route. Ha! It did it! <laughs> the navigator says to go there. Hey, what are you doing over there? Come on! If you happen to go off route, the navigator will give you a different way to... Well, you finally made it. Unfortunately, you missed an important lesson today. We got lost. Forgive us. In case you're wondering, we were studying navigators. And you know what? We just used a navigator to get here. Yeah, it showed us the way we had to go. Well, that's certainly quite lucky for you, because now you don't get an F. But from now on, kids, you have to get here on time. I promise you that, because now we know where to get our shortcuts from. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. 